Hello friends, so welcome to this ground series and today we will be seeing an important topic in open channel flow that is what that is critical flow. Okay, so let us understand this critical flow and we will solve some questions also. Okay, so first of all we will see something about specific energy. Now what is specific energy? Specific energy is E is equal to your depth of flow plus V square by 2G. This is what? This is your specific energy. Now if you are plotting your Y versus specific energy because you can see that this specific energy E is a function of Y, depth of flow, right? I will get a plot like this. You can see this plot, right? This plot is like this, this blue plot, okay? Now in this plot, there are various things. You can see that this plot starts from here and ends here. It continues actually. It continues actually like this. And this plot is asymptote to this imaginary line which is at 45 degree to the x-axis. Yes, you can see. Yes. Now in this plot, you can see that there are various observations. What are the observations of this specific energy plot? The first observation is that for a particular specific energy, suppose I am taking this particular specific energy. Yes. Okay. This particular specific energy. Suppose uh, E. Okay. For this, you can have, you see, two depths, right? You can have what? Two depths. Yes. So I can say for a specific energy, for a specific energy, particular specific energy, there are two depths, right? There are two depths, yes? And they are known as what? The alternate depth. They are known as what? The alternate depth. Now what happens if we decrease the specific energy, you can see that the gap between the alternate depth is decreasing. The gap between the alternate depth is decreasing, right? Yes, you take a lower value. Again, you can see that the gap between the alternate depth is decreasing. Now for a particular specific energy, yes, for a particular specific energy, you can see that there is only one depth, right? There is only one depth, right? And that particular depth is known as what? Critical depth. And the flow condition here is known as what? Critical flow. So I can say that at critical flow condition, the specific energy is minimum and there is no alternate depth. There is only one depth, that is the critical depth, right? Yes. And I can say there is no flow possible below the critical energy. Yes, critical specific energy, right? You see, is there any flow here? There is no flow here. Yes. So I can say this particular specific energy is the minimum specific energy or I can say that corresponding to corresponding to this critical depth yc corresponding to this critical depth yc i am getting the minimum specific energy or i can say the critical specific energy nice yes now whatever questions are asked in the examination from this let us see first of all to understand the condition for critical flow there is an equation for critical flow i am not going into the derivation of the equation Yes, where you will find that derivation, I will mention that also. But first, what is the condition? What is the governing equation? I can say that is what? The governing equation. What is the governing equation of critical flow? The governing equation of critical flow is Q square T by A cube G is equal to 1. And this particular equation is applicable for which cross section it is applicable for all the cross section rectangular circular triangular trapezoidal yes now what are the terms here q is the discharge very nice q is the discharge right then what is the t term capital t capital t is the top width it is what it is the top width of the cross section now what is a a is the area of cross section a is what a is the area of cross section very nice now what is g g is what g is the assertion due to gravity if nothing is mentioned then i will take how much 9.81 meter per second square nice 
So this is the governing equation for critical flow. And from here we can find out what? We can find out the depth of critical flow. How? Let us see that for a rectangular section. Let us see that for a rectangular section. Okay, so critical flow in a rectangular section. Yes, we'll see that how to use this equation q square t by a cube g is equal to 1 and we'll find out the yc for rectangular section. Let us see that. So, this is a rectangular channel and this is yc. The depth of flow is critical flow. Yes, therefore I will call it critical depth. Yes, so I yc and b is the width of the rectangular channel, right? Now let us use this equation q square t by a cube g is equal to 1. Now in this, I will write down this as q square. What is the top width by the way in this particular diagram? Yes, it is b only now. <laughs> you see it is b only. Yes, so q square into b. Now what is the area of this rectangle? It is b into yc, <laughs> width into depth. So here I can write down a cube will be how much? a cube will be equal to b cube and then yc cube. So this will be b cube into yc cube, right? And then g. You see this b, b gets cancelled, I get a what? Square term here. Now I'll introduce another term that is q by capital B means what? Discharge by the width. This is known as what? Small q or I can call this as discharge per unit width. This is what? Discharge per unit width, right? This is what? Discharge per unit width, right? So this equation changes, it is small q, q square by g is equal to yc cube and if I take a cube root both sides what will happen this will become yc and this becomes q square by g 1 by 3. So from this equation I am able to derive this equation for yc. So sometimes what happens in the examination people forget the formula for critical depth of rectangular channel. So if you know this equation you can easily derive within you know, half a minute also, right? Yes. So I can say that the governing equation for all cross section is what? Q square T by A cube G is equal to 1. Yes, Q square T by A cube G is equal to 1. In this, if I apply for rectangular channels, what will happen? This become Q square by G cube root. This is the expression for the critical depth. Where small Q is what? capital Q upon B. Yes, it's a very important equation and many questions they ask from this in your critical flow in rectangular channel, right? So let us solve one question, let us solve one question, okay? So you see here it is given, given discharge of a rectangular channel of width B, uh, 2 meter and discharge is given how much? 5 meter cube per second. Hmm. So discharge is given how much? It is given 5 meter cube per second. Very nice. Now what's the width given? Width is given 2 meter. Now why they're asking? They're asking the critical depth. It's a very standard question which they can ask in the examination. Okay, the easiest one. But yes, we'll start with easy and then move for the difficult ones, right? So YC expression is what? YC expression is Q square by G cube root, right? This is the expression. Now to use this expression, I need what? Small q, right? So small q is what? Small q, I can say 5 by 2. Or I can say q by b, right? That is how much? I can say 2.5. So what I will do? This becomes 2.5 square by 9.81. And then I will take a cube root of this. Nice. Let us solve this. So this becomes 2.5 square is how much? 6.25, right? So 2.5 square. Then further divide by 9.81. And then I'll take a cube root. Then I'll take what? A cube root of this. So I'm getting how much? I'm getting a value of approximately 0 0.86 meter. I'm getting approximately how much? 0.86 meter. Now see, this is the equation for finding the critical depth in case of a rectangular section. Suppose you forget this. Yes, there is a good chance that you might forget this. If you forget this, then also no problem. If you remember this equation, which equation? The governing equation which is applicable for all cross section. Q square T by A cube G is equal to what? 1. So from here also you can solve, right? What is Q? Q is 5. So 5 square is 25. What is T? T is the top width which is equal to the width because in a rectangular section what happens? The width is constant from top to bottom, right? So Q square into T. T is how much? 
t is this t is equal to b is equal to 2 meter that is 2 meter now what is area what is area area will be critical depth into your width yes b into y c so it will be equal to 2 cube yes 2 cube into y c cube into 9.81 that is equal to 1 so what i will do i'll take this y c cube this side right i'll take this y c cube this side so what will happen this will be 2 cube into 9.81 then this will get cancelled yes so this becomes what 4 right then it is very easy now see actually this is the same thing actually written in a different way <laughs> yes so from here also we will find yc is equal to how much it will come 0.86 meter okay so this was we can say an introduction to what critical flow let us see that what we have st uh, studied till now we saw that that this is a specific energy expression very nice and if we plot the specific energy for a given discharge okay we get a plot like this and then we can see that for a particular specific energy there are two depth known as what the alternate depth they known as what the alternate depth now here we understood that when we are decreasing the specific energy then the gap between the alternate depth is decreasing now for a particular specific energy what is happening there is only one depth of flow and that is known as what the critical depth and this condition is known as what critical flow condition yes and we can see that this is the minimum specific energy and there can never be flow below the minimum specific energy or can say critical specific energy then we saw the governing equation very important equation i can say this is very important equation yes very important yes so this is the governing equation and then from this we derived the expression for critical flow in a rectangular channel right for rectangular channel and then we solved a few question not a few question only one question we solved yes now one question i'm going to give you as homework yes so this is your homework okay so students i request you that you solve this solve this and mention and mention the answer in comment section mention the answer in comment section i'll just give you a small hint not hint just go make you go through the question okay so you can see that calculate the bottom width of rectangle channel means what they are asking you your b right and discharge is given you see q is given 15 meter cube per second yes and yc is given yc is given how much 1.2 meter now we can use either the two equations right directly we can use yc is equal to how much small q square by g 1 by 3 you can use this equation or you can use this equation also that q square t by a cube g is equal to 1 and you see here this t will be equal to b because in rectangle section what happens the top width is equal to the width of the other section because rectangle doesn't vary right so you can use this equation or this equation you can find out the answer so i'll request you to solve this question and mention the answer in the comment section now is it everything about critical flow no that is not the truth yes here i try to make you introduce i try to introduce the concept of critical flow and solve a very basic question or can say the frequently asked question in critical flow but that is not the end okay and therefore i have recorded many lectures on byju's exam prep here you can see that if you go to the byju's exam prep app okay you download the app byju's exam prep it is available in the app store okay so by juice exam prep app there you can download this and you can go to what learn with video lessons when you go to learn with video lessons okay then you can go to open channel flow yes if you click on this you will get open channel flow videos you can see here there is uniform flow there is energy deflation sieve there is gradually varied flow rapid Uh, well for rbf gbf yes means all the chapter wise division is done and all the lectures are available in very systematic manner you can see very systematic manner they are mentioned right so when you open this chapter of uh, you know energy depth relationship there you can find out all these videos you see critical flow critical flow in rectangular section how to find out the alternate depths then numericals on specific energy then critical flow in triangular section yes in this video we discussed only what rectangle but there can be critical flow in triangular section how, what will be the critical depth in that condition how to find out then critical flow in trapezoidal section right and more variety of numericals 
and alternate depth. All these things are covered in details and you can see that the video's length are not much. They are 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. They are all concentrated videos like this you are seeing here. In very less time you can cover the all important topics in a very systematic manner. So download the app and you can see all the videos. Thank you very much. See you in some other video. Thank you very much.